Hi there and welcome back to Wing Commander. I'm Baron. As you can see, I changed the batch file. Now it's spelled correctly. And there's something I want to show you about the mission structure uh, of Wing Commander. Um, as a matter of fact, if you if you batch if you botch a mission, the game isn't over yet. I mean, okay, if you die in a mission, then it's over. But if you just don't accomplish the mission objectives, but you survive, you the game actually isn't over. You just follow a different path of missions from there on. So it is uh, the missions are organized in a way of a matrix, and you follow one path through the matrix as you play the game. I will show you that. Uh, you can see that quite easily if you use the transfer exa. The transfer exa is actually used to transfer characters from Wing Commander into the secret missions. <coughs> so you could uh, convert them to those, those save files, the secret missions. It doesn't work because you have to be in the Venice series to be converted. But you could also set them to any mission. See, now we are. Um, in the Vega campaign and in the Venice campaign, that's where the game pitched um, right now. But here you see the matrix. So you start in the Enyo system, and if you're victorious, you move on to the Megalov system. If you lose, you move to the Gateway system. If you then win, you move to the Brimstone, or if you lose, you move to the Chengdu system. And that is how you can work your way through the mission matrix. And if you end up in Venice, it's like victory scenario. If you end up in Hell's Kitchen, it's, um, well, defeat scenario. And, well, if everything goes really well, you win all the important missions, you walk like that. And that's probably what most people actually will see. Um, so it's, it's, it's really impo impossible to show all the missions. But if you want to see that, you can buy that game on GOG. I bought it. I mean, I already had the disc, but I support GOG. That's why I bought it again. Um, and then you can take a look at all the things that will happen. And that is uh, quite clever and stupid at the same time. I mean, the Matrix. It's quite clever because um, you... Well, you, it adds replay value to the game you might want to check different missions. If you, if you watch a mission, it isn't automatically over. Even if you lose this one, you can still work your way up to the good ending. You could even lose uh, twice. I think you lose this, win this, lose this, and win the other ones, and you end up in Venice as well. So you can, but, or you lose th those two, and if you, or you can actually lose three. You lose this, you lose this, you lose this, you lose this too. Uh, I mean this, three loses here. Yeah? And from there on you win, and you still end up in Venice. So that's maybe it's even more better. One, two, three, four losers, and then you win, and you win. With just two victories, you can win the game. <laughs> okay, but I guess um, Hubble Star is probably quite difficult. So this, well, that's a, a nice idea to do the missions, but then again, it's also very stupid. If you're a developer and you're developing a game, and you do all those missions, uh, implement all those missions in the games, in that game. And that, but there's a high percentage, a high chance that most of the players will, won't, will only actually enjoy a small part of it. Because I, I'm pretty sure most players will actually save and reload a mission till they actually win it. So the majority of the players will only follow this path. And all that other stuff, well, it's more or less useless. Uh, the programmers put a lot of, the designers put a lot of effort into the game, and most of the people will never see it. And that's why, I guess that's why they didn't do that in the, in the sequels or in the secret missions. You just have to win a mission or it's game over. So, yeah, okay, I just wanted to show you that. We're not gonna do any converting here. Instead, we will move on with the game. Yeah, we already saw that. So we continue the campaign and awaken LPO1. 
And now we can actually continue with the next mission. <coughs> We're still in the Enya system. Oh fuck, babysitting duties. Yeah, the pro problem with, uh, you know, the remaining at the uh, transport is uh, that, that we are two fighters and the kiddies will, you know, attack in larger numbers. So even if Spirit attacks one and I attack one, there will at least one kitty be left to attack to the, the Drayman. So those uh, escort missions are never really fun. They are never, never. Uh, plus, those Draymans are weak as hell. If you're as much as blow into that direction, they explode. Then yes. Okay, let's head to map 1. Okay, break and attack. Not this one. How many kitties are there? If it's only two, we're good. Oh, she blows. Spirit, for my wing. Okay, now she blows. And Draymond is still in decent shape. I mean, if it's only two kitties and Spirit and I don't focus on the same cat, then we're good. Spirit, move out of the way. Okay, let's head to left 2 then. Oh, great. Break and attack. See, this time we actually face three kitties. Nobody here, okay. Well, I was just checking whether the Draymond was still intact. Leave the Draymond in peace. Oh, she blows. Okay, Spirit, I'm gonna help you now. Apparently she's not attacking this one, because that's still in perfect condition. Ah, fuck it, yeah, I'm sorry, you just flew into my projectile's way. Sorry, Spirit, didn't mean to hurt you. Wait, you are... Ah, Spirit is attacking the same? Stupid, for my wing. The 
Draymond is still there, but this caddy had fun with the Draymond. But Spirit and I were attacking the same. And I think this, this, this Draymond just jumped out. That actually, my friends, was fucking close. Oh, great asteroid field. Leave me in peace. I'm not hit. Alright, I'm hitting. Once the auto sign lits up, you can activate all the pilot. And there's the claw again. Let's land. Yeah, they, they didn't punch through my shields, but then again, <laughs> I was not the target, they tried to get the Draymond. Mission debriefing. Good job out there, blue hair. The sport jumped right on schedule, you covered it well. Thank you, sir, but Spirit deserves as much credit as I do. What did she tell you about praising him in Foster Kana? Blue hair son is too kind, sir. I only flew on his wing. At any rate, that was some nice flying. Well, let's review the mission report. Blue hair, you took out four Karathi. And Spirit got one of them. The Draymond Sport made its jump on schedule. And Blue Hair, I want to see you in my office in a couple of hours. I hope you're not gonna yell at me. That's all then, dismissed. Commander Halkian, okay, Colonel Halkian's office. Dubai, come in, I need to speak with you. Yes, sir. We'll be leaving Anya soon and I need to make some personal changes. Yeah. Effective immediately following the jump, you'll be reassigned. I want you in a scimitar class medium fighter with Blue Devil Squadron. Yes, sir, you won't be sorry. You think it's a promotion? I'm not really sure. I mean, the, the Blue Devil uh, has mass drivers at close range, that's a quite powerful weapon. It's more packs a lot more punch than the lasers. It is supposed to have more a better armor, but I, I I always get the impression the shields are weaker, and shields are more important than armor. Because shields recharge, armor does not. For meritorious conduct in confronting the killer of the enemy. Yeah, in the end year system, on or about 2654.111. The Terran Confederation is proud to present the bronze star to 2nd Lieutenant Chibai. Yeah, yeah, first medal. Your courage is exemplary to the Confederation's finest defenders. Good job, Blue Hair. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Filled with 
tried, you meet the applause of your fellows. Okay. And we're at the bar again. Hey, that was too fast. Try that again. That's Iceman at night over there. Knight's a darn reliable pilot. He's a solid shot, a steady flyer. Not flashy at all, he's sort of a craftsman. Gets the job done though. Iceman though, now he's an artist. Best pilot on the Tiger's Claw. Lives to fly and to find. He's totally ruthless and completely deadly. Some of the pilots say he's got Freon for blood. At least that's where he got the call sign. Okay, let's talk to Iceman then. Blue hair. They call me Iceman. Don't let night fool you. This game is a gun heavy slug. Forget finesse, just head straight in, guns blaring. Yeah, but I think the shields are not strong enough to do that. Give me a ship that takes skill. A raptor, even a hornet. Or one of those new rapiers. If half of what they say is true, the rapier is a true artist's ship. Well, we'll see about that. Okay, so that's Iceman, that's Knight. Blue hair, right? I'm Knight. Welcome to the Blue Devils. Ever flown a scimitar before? I think you're going to like them. A scimitar isn't quite as fast or nimble as a hornet. But she's got twice the armor as well as heavier guns, but that work at a shorter range. And she hands like a centaurian mud pig. Iceman here will try to tell you speed and handling will save your butt. But? But I'll take an extra 3 centimeters of dura steel plating any day. I'd rather be agile and have stronger shields. So okay, that's Knight and Iceman. Let's take a look at the chalkboard. Hey, are we? We have more kills than Lieutenant, Second Lieutenant Marshal, that's Maniac. First Lieutenant Tanaka is Spirit. Captain Devereau is Angel. I think Captain Kumalo is... Uh, what's his face? Knight? Captain Sinchan. I, I, don't, I, I don't think we've met him yet. Major Taggart is... I don't really know who Sinchan is. We will, we, will, we will see him. Major Taggart is probably... Uh, Paladin. Major Chan is... Bossman, we haven't met him yet. A major Chasey is, um, of course, Iceman. Okay, so let's save. Where's my LP02? It's gone. Great. Yeah, I was playing ahead a little bit, trying with the uh, different recording uh, settings. It didn't work out as well as I had hoped, so okay. That's why I'm starting new. I think now it's okay. The quality of the video and the audio is, is okay now. Okay, LP02. Moving on. Now we're in the McAuliffe system. So if you remember the chart I showed you in the beginning of the video, McAuliffe is the second system that you will actually go to, that's Paladin here, that you will go to if you were victorious in the Envoy system, and your system, whatever. That's not too fancy. I mean, as long as I don't have to babysit any mines. Shit. Okay, I take that back. It is shitty. Mines are the worst. I mean, it's, I'm glad that I don't have to do babysitting duties this time. But flying through a minefield... <laughs> I think that is easily the deadliest part of the game. What? Looped? And that is a simple Um, you 
only have a top speed of 360 instead of 420. But we have those nice mass drivers. I don't know what mass they're driving, but it packs a lot of damage, a lot of punch in close quarters. Missile wise, we have dump fire and a javelin heat seek. Three heat seeks and two dump fires. That's good. Blast! The enemy is upon us, but it's only two. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. Neutrality. Yeah, yeah, like how I No, it's, I think it's actually three. Yep. See, our shields are gone already. You gotta be kidding me. Scimitar? Flying guns blazing? No way. Okay. Paladin, break and attack. Shit. Okay, got me on the run, I believe that. Let's see what the missile does. Shit. Well, I think we got him. Okay, but if he is attacking the same, I'm attacking this one. Okay, Paladin, form my wing. What is damaged? Computer system is slightly damaged. I hate you, damn kitty. Okay, so, well, if you get the hits in, the mass travel is nice. But it takes a lot of energy. And, yeah, I don't like the Simita too much. It's not agile enough. And for a ship that handles that sluggish, I would expect better shields. I mean, two hits of... Adralti takes two hits, and then my shields are gone? That uh, can't be that. I mean, a Hornet had better shields. But it... Oh shit, the minefield. Fuck it. So you, you have to avoid them in a very wide oh fuck way. No. Shield generators hit. So now we don't have maximum shield capacity anymore. This sucks big time. Okay. Break and attack. What do we have? Salties. Oh yeah, maybe I should increase the speed, I'm sorry, I forgot. No, no, I'm not playing chicken with you. Yeah. Oh, she's breaking up? They killed, at least they... Oh, fuck. They blew up Paladin's ship. He, I thought he was an old warhorse. Maybe just an old horse. Okay, got this one. I don't know whether search and rescue will be able to. Ah, fuck. Wasted a missile here. Well, search and rescue will be able to bring him back. 
I mean, Paladin is... I think he, he's supposed to be a very good, a decent fighter. I mean, he has years, tens of years of practice. And he will be very important in the later part of the Wing Commander series. But I think in the first part, he just sucks ass. I mean, the spirit is better than he is. That's too far away. I think the kid is trying to get away. Hey, afterburner, fucker. Okay. Okay, let's see whether Paladin survived. If he didn't survive, I will redo this mission. I will replay it. So now we approach the claw from the wrong side. Okay. Okay. You sure got yourself shut up, sir. Well, you should see Paladin. Fuck. Mission debriefing. He's dead. Well flown, Blue Hair. You handled those fleabags like an old pro. You don't have to say that, sir. I shouldn't have let them get Paladin. It happens, Blue Hair. It's part of the war. So let's go over the mission report. Use cracked Falcon Ralphie Blue Hair. The Paladin came out empty. And we lost Paladin. I want to see you in my office after you've had a shower. That's all that is missed. Okay, we are gathered here to pay our last respects to a good friend and one of the Terran, Terran Confederation's boldest defenders. Major James Taggart was one of our most seasoned veterans. He has fallen in battle with the Kirathi foe. We, all, we will all miss Paladin's friendship, his wealth of experience and his shitty fighting power. Tales of the first battles against the Karate. Company attention, prepare arms. Goodbye, Paladin. I'll try to remember what you've taught me. I taught you how to die. I mean, really. I'm really disappointed in Paladin's performance. I come in. I need to speak with you. Yes, sir. I have speaking with Sector Command. The brass have been reviewing your record and I have good news. The order came in this morning. I have been authorized to promote you. Congratulations, First Lieutenant Chubai. Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. I'll do my best. Good. I'm glad to hear it. That's all done, First Lieutenant. Dismissed. Okay. 
So that sucks balls. We will replay that mission in the next video. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.